Welcome back people to another video and today we're gonna discuss which one is better nice hash 2.0 or minor gate 7.0 on the left side here we have nice hash and on the right side we have minor gate they are both pretty easy to use pretty easy to set up but they have some differences that have pros and cons depending on what do you want to use them for and if you want to get paid out in Bitcoin or in some other currencies that's the main difference between them two because in NiceHash you need your own Bitcoin wallet and in Minergate you get 11 different wallets depending on the currency you're mining. So in the NiceHash miner you just go here in the wallet and enter your own wallet that you can create on some other page and use it here. And in Minergate you don't need to do that because if you click let's say um, on the Bitcoin you can withdraw funds directly from this application because it has integrated wallet in it. So what's next after you have programs ready and all benchmarks done? On the nice hash you have some pretty big configuration you can do. For example, clicking right here on the hardware details, you can only select if you want to mine with CPU, if you want to mine with GPU or if you want to mine with both of them. But, and if you want to do some extra configuration, you can go right here to configure and advanced and then play with config files but if you mess something up nothing will work so i would not recommend you that if you really don't know what you are doing and that's the main advantage that minergate has over the nice hash because if you go over here to the miner you can see all the different coins that you can mine and you can select how many cpu cores you want to use to mine i have 16 threads and it may be different than a cpu and I have GTX 180 Ti and that should be the same for everyone because you can select uh, intensity of mining from 1 to 4 1 being 25% intensity and 4 being 100% intensity and the best thing you can do right here is mine all different currencies if you want at the same time you just have to select correct intensity and start mining without uh, going past the 16 total threads for example, if you want to mine Bitcoin and use only one core to mine it, then we just click here, start, start mining, and it's automatically mining and giving us Bitcoin in their own Bitcoin wallet, which we can withdraw from right here by clicking the Bitcoin, and when this number goes up, we can withdraw it to some of our different wallets we want to use. And if you want to stop it, you just click here, stop. And you can mine with your GPU. Let's say we want to mine Bitcoin with 25% intensity on the GPU. And we can set that up really easily. If you want to mine Dash, we can click. Let's say we want to use 50% of our CPU to mine Dash. Click here, 8. So that will use 50% of our power. And let's say we want to use other 75% on the GPU for something else like Monero. We just set it up here, 3. Press start mining here. Uh, right here and right here and we will be mining with 100% GPU power and 50% CPU power and we will get paid in all three different currencies depending on the profits we make and if you don't want to play with all that settings you just want to press one button and say okay I'm done I don't want to touch it anymore you can do that in Minergate pretty easily you go to their own smart miner which you can run after you've done all of the benchmarks and you will automatically mine the coin that will give you most profits. That's the same thing that NiceHash does, but NiceHash can only pay you in Bitcoin. I hope I covered main differences between NiceHash and Minergate, and let me know which version do you use and why. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.